Number one, let's talk about quarterback depth. There's no question. This is why your question uh, is so good and, and relevant. The New England Patriots have one quarterback, one available quarterback on their roster right now. That is Mac Jones, a guy who's never played in the NFL. So they need to figure out a backup quarterback, which makes it even stranger. They had a quarterback competition between Mac and Cam. And all of a sudden, they only got one of those guys left. Brian Hoyer gone. And he may come back if he clears way. He wasn't he expensive. But he's closer. He uh, uh, Brian Hoyer is probably closer to coaching than he is to playing. So if he comes back, yeah. it's still not a great situation. Cam, they gave him reps. He was in line to be the starter. It looked like based on the appearances. Now he's gone. So you're right. They need uh, they need a quarterback, and since they need a quarterback, why did they get rid of a quarterback they had? And his money, as right. you point out, his money as a backup is very reasonable. He essentially, Mike Cam Newton signed for backup money in the off season, and he was going to get like low starter money if he actually started. You know, game by game, mm -hmm. roster bonuses, all that stuff. But if he didn't. He's a backup quarterback in the NFL. It comes out of this. It's really two options. There are two options here. Why is Cam Newton gone? It's either or. This is a binary conversation. You got to pick one. Sorry, Bill Belichick. Uh, just because you're smart, it doesn't mean that everybody else is dumb. The reason the reporters were asking you about vaccination status is because that's when the moment changed. He had been writing love letters to Cam Newton going on two years. He, he had made every excuse there is imaginable for Cam Newton. Cam is great. Nobody works harder than Cam. Cam is great around the office, on and on and on. But then the misunderstanding happened. And after the misunderstanding, I don't know if you realize this, Cam Newton never spoke to the New England media again. All of a sudden, he was unavailable to speak. All of a sudden, Bill Belichick got a little murky, a little muddy on the quarterback situation. And then next thing we know, I'm a black man, right? Then all of a sudden, next thing, I, next <laughs> thing is, <laughs> all right, then after that, Cam's gone. So it's either the vaccination changed the relationship and he just didn't trust them anymore. He felt like Cam wasn't reliable and he had to go. It was either the misunderstanding opened his eyes to another side of Cam that he didn't like or he felt like the presence of Cam for Mac was not good. But you bring up a, a great point. Well, wait, hold on. Hold they, on we had go never there. heard was... that before. We never heard that before, right? But wait, but hold that on. Cam would be some kind but of hold on one second, though. You're right, but hold on one second. We, I, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you continue answering all those questions I laid out. Yep. But just on the question that was posed to Bill Belichick, did Cam's vaccination status contribute to his release or something like that? That's different from. Did Cam's absence due to the protocol yeah. contribute to well, his status? Because what what Belichick and I, and I, I know I know you can't believe anything. I know you could you know can't trust him as far as you could throw him. I know that. Right. But what Belichick answered was that the fact that he's not vaccinated and therefore subject to more stringent protocols did not contribute. Which Michael, I am inclined to believe, and here's why: I don't think Cam is the only unvaccinated quarterback. Or unvaccinated player, I beg right. your pardon. Now, as Josh McCown right. would tell it, I don't know if you saw what he said about Kirk Cousins. It's even more complicated in his, in some people's opinion, as a quarterback to not be vaccinated. But nonetheless, if Belichick was putting up with Cam not being vaccinated that long, and even after the COVID snafu, then it stands to reason if it were best for the team to have a serviceable, starting quality caliber backup, he's good enough to start for you last year. It stands to reason he would put up with him not being vaccinated if he thought he could help the team as a backup. So for me, it feels more intangible than X's and O's, film evaluation, or vaccination status in the case of why Cam Newton was outright cut. This is no. This is why you're a hey, hey, Mike Mike Smith. This is why you're such a smart uh, smart guy, despite your trifling little feed item. And number one, it's gonna take me a while a while to get over that. I'm still <laughs> kind of smarting for that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that. Okay, just, just just between you and me, it's a problem. Okay, it's a problem. Um, you notice Bill Belichick answered it. He'll take any kind of weakness that you have. 
see what the reporters were trying to do. I, I, I can tell you what both got what, what both sides were trying to do. The reporters were trying to introduce the topic, at, at, but in, at, through the side door. So they didn't ask the question mm -hmm. that they really wanted to ask. They kind of soft, little soft pedaled it before they could get to the question they wanted to get to. But Bill Belichick took advantage of the poorly phrased question or, or took advantage of the question that was not fully formed and took it all the way to yeah. Andromeda. I mean, he just took it somewhere else intentionally, intentionally because he didn't want right. to get into that. So he goes, he takes you all around the world. He talks about, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know, our staff and, and people who are vaccinated still get COVID. Ain't nobody asking about that. They got nothing to do with nothing. Right. What we're asking, what right. we're trying to ask you, and you know where we're going, we're trying to ask you, did the snafu contribute to the release? Did it contribute? Yes, it did. Now he can't go all Urban Meyer. Okay. We'll talk about that. He can't go all Urban Meyer right. and say, You believe it? Yeah, did. that's why I released him. But so you believe it? it, it did. It's a fact. You believe that was. Out of those two things, I'm going vaccination. I'm going vaccination plus not not 100, but I'm going to go vaccination 65 percent. His status because he wasn't available at the critical time. See, that's how Bill Belichick thinks. He like this is what he thinks. Number one, I don't want a guy on my team, not a, a guy who makes errors, but an error repeater. They call him that throughout the building. Oh, he's an error mm -hmm. repeater. Players, coaches, he's an error right, repeater. So he let you make an error. Yeah. But if you keep making the same yeah. errors, he doesn't trust you. So error repeater and two, trustworthy, reliable. He always listen to him going forward. Bill Belichick interviews reliable player. He's reliable. He's dependable on and on and on. And so at that time when it was coming down to decision making time, Cam Newton wasn't there. And I think that really bothered him. So 65% okay. vaccination, 35% the yep. ascending Mac Jones and Cam kind of plateauing. But you don't feel like, all right, I'll, I'll, let me push back on the vaccine thing and then talk to me about the locker room okay. and talk to me about Cam and, and Cam who put on Instagram QB one. Uh, like, you know, right. hey, you are not in control of right. my thesis. You already know how I feel about thing pieces Mate. like, you know, like almost like speaking it into existence. Just so you all know, I'm a QB hey, one. I, I ain't lyrics. nobody's backup was I can quote lyrics too. I can quote lyrics too, but I don't know. Hold on. Stop, that doesn't hold on. Mean Stop that the music. Give me the job. Stop the music. 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 Um, so do you do you feel like on the vaccine front? I see the, the, the issue I have with the vaccine, it just doesn't jive. Like, okay, was he disappointed? Yes. I and yes. again, this got me in trouble last time. Doubting you got me. This is the, the moral of the story so far. Doubting you got me in trouble last time, but I can't help myself. I find it hard to believe that it would be so effusive, sincerely effusive about Cam as a teammate and Cam as a leader and Cam as a worker or that he would have wasted all this time with Cam's unvaccinated behind all this time and reps with unvaccinated Cam with Cam competing for the starter job as an unvaccinated player knowing the protocols like they all knew that you were one misstep away yeah. from not being available as an unvaccinated player. I find it hard to believe that okay. he would go through all, subject himself to all of that. And then when Cam gets popped. Now you have to we talked about this. There's a difference between judgment yeah. and discipline. And now it's like now you're going to Oh, I can't trust this guy now. Well, you knew that that was right. a situation long time right. ago. And even still, even if he had messed up, if he was good enough to be your start, compete for your starting job, he was still good enough to serve as the backup, so, which brings me to this. The last thing I want to I want to get to. I need you to answer this because Jason's on standby. And yes, we're already right. past our typical break time, which we try to stick to. Why couldn't Cam all that aside? Why couldn't Cam both from his perspective and the Patriots perspective, stick around as the backup. Why couldn't that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you bring up some uh, good vaccine questions. aside. I'll just tell you, hey, okay, be in a relationship with Bill Belichick. Everything's good, but if you do something that he finds objectionable, he'll ghost you. Okay, so this is what happens. Does he have a problem with Cam? You know that first hand, right? Unvaccinated, <laughs> huh? You know that firsthand, you know, right? <laughs> we both no, do. That, that's right. That's right. Yes, we yeah. do. Um, yeah. He didn't have a problem with them being unvaccinated. 
but it's almost like if this is the path you're going to take, you better make sure you handle your business. You're going to have to be really, really obsessive with the details. You're going to have to make sure everything is taken care of because as he knows, as Bill Belichick knows better than anybody, that's why his little distraction thing didn't fool me today. You didn't fool me at all, Bill. It's a different world for vaccinated and unvaccinated players, not politically, but practically. If you're unvaccinated right. in the NFL, the rules are different. George Atala can tell us about right. that. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to judge you. The reason coaches are upset about it is because it takes good players away for a long time. If you're vaccinated yeah. and you have a misstep, you're away a shorter amount of time than the unvaccinated are. That's what it came down to. And I think it just opened his eyes. So I'm going to go with that. That's most of it. Not all of it, but most of it. Yeah. And I'm going to say to you, you don't, Gary. You, you don't think he could have been the backup, you, though? Chica? Other than other than that, you think he could have no. been the backup. So that the rest of it doesn't matter. He, he, other than the vaccine, if you were vaccinated, I don't think you think Cam would, would still be on the team. Is that what you're telling me? I think they, 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 they say yes. I say no. I say no. And I say, Gary and Chica, don't stop the music. No. Mm. Yeah, Cam. I heard that song the other yeah, day. Yeah, Cam. Well, if, 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 he, if, again, vaccine aside, if Cam could not be a backup, and we'll we'll talk about Cam's future later in the show. Okay, so we'll we'll put we'll stop it here. Get to Jason Johnson on the other side of this break. If Cam could not be a backup, then shame on him, because, bro, that's the reality. That's reality. Many a great quarterback, some in the Hall of Fame have had to be a backup for whatever reason and wait their turn to ascend once again. So I, I know he ain't been a backup since Florida, but at 32, eight, though? What, what else you gonna be at this point? Somebody started. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us three to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.